hi guys welcome back to my channel now I know the topic sounds scary and you guys are wondering why is it that I'm drowning in fear I'm here to explain so the past week and also this week I have been struggling and drowning in fear literally in fear why you may ask because I got an opportunity to um, set up a business and I got a space in a very good location to you know open shop and when the idea was pitched to me by a, a close family friend not not family friend but a close family I was like I've never thought about it really she was like no you need to do it you love you love um, doing what it is that you do and I think it, it is the space is in a perfect location um, this huge um, clients coming in so you need to really pick this up and try I was like but I, I've never wanted to do that my line is, is 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 in the same field but my interest is somehow different but I was like she was like no you love doing this and I want you to give it a try so she took me to the complex where the space is and I had a look at it and I was like wow maybe this is something that I can actually do and coming back home and thinking about it was like what am I trying to do why am I even thinking about it why do I even think I can able I'm able to do it you know so the past week I have been struggling to clear the doubt and fight fear of either failing because I'm starting a new business and so many times I wanted to give up that opportunity and I didn't share that idea with even my family because I, I didn't want to tell them hey guys I'm opening I'm rather I'm starting a business I didn't want to tell them that because I also didn't want to come back and tell them you know what let that idea pass I don't want to venture into it anymore so I kept it to myself I think I shared it um, with my husband and he was like is it something that you're interested in doing I was like um yeah yeah um, it's something that I would do because I keep on doing it all the time it's just I've never thought of it as a business so um, he said fine I will help you and I'll support you the best way that I can but even his affirmation didn't drive out the fear that I ha I still have up until today yet I have put down a deposit to the shop so um, I've had sleepless nights literally sleepless nights um, telling myself I can't do this what if I fail what would people think about and it's really stressed me it's really stressed me to the point that since um, Wednesday last week <laughs> I've literally had headaches my ear buzzed a lot a lot a lot a lot and I had to go to the doctor because my ear was literally buzzing especially at night I couldn't sleep because my right ear was buzzing a lot so when I went to the doctor she was like your, your, your ear is in perfect health so she told me are you stressed or anything I was like mm, I'm, I'm kind of stressed she's like then that's it that's why your ear is buzzing I was like oh my god what am I doing to myself and all this has been caused by one thing fear let me actually read the meaning of fear let me just get my laptop and read the meaning of fear so here's my laptop um, the fear an unpleasant emotion caused by threat of danger pain or harm so I was asking myself what threat am I facing what pain am I facing what harm am I facing it's a business opportunity um, someone is asking me do this it might actually end up succeeding and the location is perfect for it and you know the working crowd is amazing just try do it so just the just absorbing the idea I was so fearful and I'm still so so fearful and I don't know how to to 
suppress this fear guys i don't know how to suppress this fear i've put down a deposit i need to fix this shop between now and mid next week so that i can actually start the business and i'm still fearful like just before i gave out the, the check i was like you know what let me just call and tell them i'm not gonna take the shop i'm not gonna venture into this business that's how bad i have been affected by just something that is literally pushing me away from um trying to make something work or trying to make a dream come true and just to think about it i've actually allowed fear to drive me away from the things that i loved when i left high school i wanted to do a bit of acting i wanted to be in front of the screen but what happened i decided to go behind the screens because it was safe you know i didn't want people to judge me i didn't want to be rejected i didn't want to try um things and then fail you know and all that is caused by fear you know fear of the unknown fear of people judging you people thinking about you in a different manner and it is now that i'm beginning to face fear but this animal is so huge you know this thing is so big even when i joined um youtube i was quite skeptical i was like maybe this is not for me i won't fit in what will my friends think about you know whoever is going to watch my videos be like oh, is that crap that lady is just crap you know her content is bad but again i faced that fear and here i am doing a video you know and i know when i was touching i i kept on looking or i kept on looking at my subscription you know how big or how how quickly it's growing but you know it wasn't growing you know i remember the first week i only had five people who subscribed to my channel and that was strictly family you know and i was like do i really want to do this too do i really want to put myself out there and then um face rejection and then after rejection what's gonna happen you know and i dealt with that i said you know what i'm just gonna try and put out content and see how far it's going to take me you know i also started i remember i started um um blogging i think almost three years back and i was never consistent and at times i would be like ah maybe maybe my body is just not right for it you know maybe maybe because i'm not hippie and of course i don't have big boobs and and i thought about it was like you know fashion is not about big boobs big hips how pretty you are or not if you love fashion or rather if i love fashion then i should pursue it and i wasn't consistent because of work and right now i'm trying to pick it up again that's something i'm also fighting with because at times i go on social media i see how other bloggers are doing you know they're growing quite fast and my grow is you know quite slow one because i don't post a lot and two it's because again fear you know so i'm trying to conquer my fears and it's a challenge it's a challenge it's a challenge guys let me tell you every morning since wednesday i've had to try and remove myself from that state of mind you know i'm trying to tell m myself it's gonna be okay you know you're going to make it work my husband is like you know you're stressing yourself way too much you you need to overcome your fears you need to make it work if you're actually going to put money in this business make it work because you only have one shot at this and you have to do it and give it your best you know so i put down a deposit to the place and that fear grew guys that fear grew 10 times it grew and so i'm wondering do i still want to go on with this i now need to fix the shop i'm asking myself do i really want to go with, on with this should i back down but i'm asking myself how am i going to back down someone's already cashed that check you know i have to start i have to buy things i have to set up shop i have to be there and get to know the customers get to market myself luckily my my family and my friends 
have decided to support me 100% and that is awesome but still that dreaded thing called fear is in my head in my head so much uh, that I I have sleepless nights you know I have sleepless nights and I've actually diarrheaed three times just because of fear just because my stomach has been grumbling you know I think about it my stomach grumbles then I quickly rush to the toilet <laughs> Ah, I never knew fear would take so much joy out of someone. It has taken so much joy out of me just because something in my head is telling me, what if you don't succeed? What if it doesn't work out? What if, what if, what if, what if? So someone told me and I actually had to Google the quote. A very good friend of mine told me, um, fear kills more dreams than failure ever will. So he mentioned to this. He mentioned this to me when I shared um, with him the idea. I, I told him, you know what? I found this space, and I'm thinking of um, setting up this kind of business. So what do you think? He was like, the space is good, you know. Give it a try, you know. Give it a try because you don't know what's on the other side. You know, you don't know if it's going to be so successful that, you know you'll be shocked so he told me listen this is a quote that i want you to you know absorb in your mind then he told me about it that fear kills more dreams than fear will ever do so i said i'm gonna give it a try and see where it's going to take me you know so i started um reading quotes on fear let me read another one fear has two meanings forget everything and run or face everything and rise the choice is yours so i decided to face everything and rise in as much as i still have that voice that's telling me you might actually fail i'm choosing to rise i'm choosing to overcome this monster that is in my head that is stopping me from um living the kind of life that i wanted and exploring opportunities that we have always wanted to explore yeah. so if you're like me and opportunities have been coming away and you've been passing them please fight this monster let's fight this monster and try and make our dreams come true i will be a hundred percent dedicated towards this business because i'm investing a lot of money in it and i'll do my best to make it work i'll market it i will spend so much time in building that business and prove myself wrong and suppress this demon in my head that's called fear and just drive it out from, out of my life really 10 good years i would have probably i was 10 good years just suppressing my dreams you know i would probably be a great actress but i never went ahead and put myself out there i, I went for two or three auditions and i got i didn't I wasn't picked and it was you know, like you know I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna wait in line and and go in front of a camera audition and be told nah no no sorry guy this is you've missed opportunity but that's life you know how many how many good actresses had to attend so many auditions for them to end up being so successful so why is it that I decided to draw back because of one thing fear fear of rejection fear of failing so guys i really want you who's at home to fight this thing i really want you guys to fight fear and live your life to the fullest and i'll share with you what my business is i want to set it up and then i'll do a video about it and i'll show you where it is hopefully you'll come and support me and I'm going to do all that I can to bring back to life the dreams that I had as a child and try and live them now. It's never late, you know, and as long as I have breath in me, then that means I have the chance and the choice to make my dreams come true, you know. And so I want to thank you guys for listening. I know maybe my... <laughs> 
my um communication was a bit mixed up because i have mixed emotions right now i'm feeling kind of hey and then also no because of um <laughs> this monster called fear but i'm overcoming it and i know um when i'll be setting up the shop it will come definitely it will come in fact the first few days when everyone will be here will be coming in and inquiring and maybe they won't be buying my service then i'll be like huh even in that world happy no one is buying but you know what i'll keep pushing because i have a very good support system from my family from my friends i think um they've even told me you know what we'll be your first clients we'll come and help you <laughs> have that trend for the next month before you now start building your client portfolio so that's it guys i wanted to share that with you and tell you that I really want to stop drowning in my fear. I really want to stop um, having these sleepless nights just because of a monster in my head that's telling me you can't do it. And I hope that this video will somehow help someone, you know. And I will continue to do to do my YouTube videos. And I hope that you guys will continue to support my channel in, this, in so many ways, you know, by subscribing, by liking, by sharing it with your friends and family. And let's see, let's see if I'll be able to achieve my dreams and make them come to life, you know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm not in the best state of mind and probably I have mumbo jumbled over this video, but I wanted you guys to know where I'm coming from, you know. So that's the story that's the story guys i'm setting up a business i'm quite fearful about it i don't want to fail i want to rise and i will let you in on my business and how i'm progressing yeah so thank you for watching now i'll i wanted to do my hair as so i was chatting but I don't think that would have been possible because I was a bit emotional. But now that I've spoken to you guys, I'm kind of feeling, you know, okay, you know, I'm kind of feeling okay. So, um, I I watch a lot of YouTubers. So, I got this. It's called, um, is it, am, I, am I holding it properly? It should read Auntie Jackie or something. Auntie Jackie. Like I had mentioned in a previous post, I decided to give my hair a break from relaxing it because I had my scalp got um, infected. So I stopped. I stopped um, relaxing my hair. This is almost um, one year, and I have a significant amount of growth. All this is growth, and then of course these other ends um, is my pumped hair. Okay, so. I wanted to rave about this um, bath soap that's literally a shampoo. It's called um, Buk. Okay, it's not Buk. It's B U dot K E. So I think Boo dot K E or something like that. I don't know. I just found this. Um, I watched Shilandinda's um, YouTube channel and I ended up seeing this um, soap and she raved about it. So I went and bought it at. Um, super cosmetics i actually found it yesterday and i said you know what let me give it a try because these youtubers you know they're the people who inform us <laughs> about nice things that are in the market so i was like you know what let me try give it a try and see how it's going to fare on with my hair and everything so i'm just spritzing spritzing some water i've mixed a couple of things i'm just using this jar by the way but i've mixed so many things in in here i've mixed um rose water coconut oil olive oil almond oil as in all the oils that people put on their hair or they in their hair on their hair yeah so yeah so it's quite pandani miss changanisha is quite pandani so now i want to give this girl this baby a kiss and see if it's worth all the hype my sister talked. To, my sister told me about this product, 
my sister told me about this product you know and you are trying to be like other youtubers by the way but i have no clue if i'm doing it i'm doing the right thing or not because this thing is not focusing what why not why not why are you not focusing anyway moving on so i want to try it and see if it's going to give my hair curls so yeah let's try let's see let's see let's see if this thing is gonna work so i don't know if this is how people do it but you know what i'm new to this guys i'm new to this so but anyway i'll do this off camera because i don't want to bore you it's already 22 minutes in the video gosh i don't want to make it so long so guys yeah thank you for watching thank you for your support keep subscribing keep liking my channel keep supporting me i love you guys i love you guys and for those who subscribed and keep watching my videos thank you for your support angie thank you for your for your support thank you for being on my channel and i hope to have my friends in here way 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 more you know so up until then guys bye bye